What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one, and today will be officially the last video of this year. So, if I have not made it to 2,000 subscribers yet, make sure to subscribe and help your boy out. This is the last chance for me to get 2,000 subscribers before the year ends. But, I appreciate everybody that has joined me on this journey. I haven't really put it out there, but... My goal for this year was to put out one video every single day for the whole year and i've accomplished that so thank you everybody for joining me again and today we're going to be hopping in and i'll be showing you the most consistent eldritch deck that i've built yet this thing has gotten me so many wins i was almost a diamond with it but then i got on a freaking horrible losing streak and i just got pissed off and you guys may already know how that goes as soon as you're pissed and all your games kind of go to crap so it didn't work too well but Again, if you guys are new to the ch channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of this deck. I will have the deck list posted at the end, so make sure to stick around for that. But nonetheless, let's hop right into the games. For our first match of this amazing Eldritch deck, we're gonna be going first. And like I said before, this thing is super consistent and it gets you wins so often. We're gonna start off with the Eld Elixir, Special Summoning, and Eldritch. We're gonna get Summoner Limit on the board. Of course, even if it gets blown up, oh, we're going up against a stupid Runix right away. Okay, we're gonna activate Summoning Limit just because I know they don't do much summoning, but it is all good. Okay, the Runic Tip. We're going to Ash that bad boy because we know exactly what he's looking for. He's looking for the Fountain of Annoyingness. Oh, yeah. Okay. Card of Demise. Good thing that thing's getting semi-limited. And he got the Fountain anyway. Alrighty. Well, we have ourselves a Harpy Feathers Duster. So we're going to activate that bad boy right away. He's going to go for the Runic Tip. And the Runic Slumber. Okay. So he's going to special summon the Fangs. Which is kind of weird. Normally I would go for Huggins, but it is what it is. It is all good. Their backboard gets destroyed. Oh, I see. He wanted to get it back because he knew it was going to get popped. Okay. Well, that's a fair, fair play right there. Okay, Pot of Prosperity. Let's see what we could get done. We're going to go for the Guardian of the Golden Land. We're going to activate that bad boy. Pop that. Activate Eldritch's effect. And then special summon him onto the board. Since they're not going to be doing much summoning anyway, that's kind of pointless. We're going to banish that for Golden Land forever. Attack for 1750 because of Pot of Prosperity. And then we're going to activate Guardian of the Golden Land to get another Elixir on the board for another special summon. We're going to pass turn. All right, Pot of Duality. Let's see what they got. Oh, uh, no. That sucks. The Runic Fountain. Activates the Runic Fountain. And then Flash Fire. Ooh, okay. We're going to go ahead and Golden Land forever. Which kind of suck because he blocked the Runic Fountains. I should have been able to banish it, but he surrenders either way. So it is all good. Screw you, Runic player. I don't like you. So let's hop right in to the next match. And for our second match, we're going to be going up against another annoying deck here with Nostalgia. We're going to start off with the Pot of Extravagance and then we get to draw on a lot of cards we need. So we're going to start off with a Elixir of White Destiny. Get one Eldly on the board, just in case. Some protection. Pot of Extravagance themselves. Okay, they only pitch three, which is weird. But I guess they were very confident, so they said, I only need one card. The Branded Lost. Wow, how tragic. I should have saw him Judgment. The brand had lost and not the fusion, but I didn't know. Your boy's dumb. That protects the branded fusion, so can't really do anything about it. So that kind of screws me. Let's get the Albion. 
uses the losses effect and then uses Albion's effect, okay. He's gonna fusion summon that into the Mare Jade, most likely. It was Lubelion, what in the world? Are you kidding me? I don't know why that was, but he's got the Tri Brigade negate on the in hand, so we gotta stay very vigilant because of that. Okay, we're gonna use the Elixir of White Destiny to get a Conquistador. Activate Curse Lane. And we're gonna get Ghost Ogre. Very tragic, but we're gonna try to use Waketo to get rid of that. And Branded Retribution. They got literally everything they need. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. That goes back into the extra deck. My Kukisador gets uh, negated and my Eldlich, Eldland gets popped. So we still got the Pot of Prosperity. Let's see what we can get here. Skill Drain would have been good. But we're going to go ahead and get the Ash because whenever that other branded fusion comes out and we know it's coming, we can Ash it. We could give them not the Ash. Okay, we're going to use Conquistador straight away. And pop that a branded loss. Get out of here with that. And he's going for Brand Fusion. Again, what a surprise. Ooh, branded Bond. Interesting. Are you kidding me? He has everything he needs. Holy moly, he's going to get the Mirror Jade way easy. Oh, he didn't go for the Mirror Jade. Goes for the Ash Dragon, but that thing is chunky. And I am shaking right now. That is crazy. Okay. We're gonna use Joaquero, get an Elixir. Ooh, and we got an Elixir of Black Awakening. Okay, so we're gonna use Elixir's effect. Okay. We definitely need an out for that big ol' dragon. Guardian of the Golden Land will do. But we're gonna have to go ahead and just basically sacrifice our Eldritch. Let him die. We're gonna switch summon another one. Just to have a little more protection, so. We're willing to risk the 400 damage, or if he attacks into the defense one, we have a little bit of a board here. And we still have the summoning limit. The branded fusion. We're gonna ash that bad boy. Oh, no, the top. See, when people, when I ash people, my ash never goes through. It always happens to me, though. You freaking kidding me, dude. Alrighty. Well, they're gonna be able to use their branded fusion, of course. Gets the Albion out. Uses his Albion's effect. Two gets the Mirror Jade out. And this is why. I needed more Elvages on the board because I knew that there was going to be some uh, craziness going on. And we uh, actually activate the Elixir to get ourselves even another one on the board. Yep. I don't know why I went into attack mode. Oh, maybe I was trying to bait out for the Guardian. But that one wasn't the one I should have did. What, are you kidding me? Am I an idiot? I was supposed to save it for the Ash Dragon. Alright, well, I guess I got a little scared. It's all good, though. Ooh, Anti-Spell Fragrance. That's actually very nice. We're gonna go ahead and get another Guardian, because that dude is a must right there. And get a Huaquero. Activate that bad boy. Another, another one? Dude, I'm getting negated left and right. Are you kidding me? Well, that was tragic. We're gonna go ahead and pop the Mirror Jade. It's gonna use its effect in the graveyard, of course. We're gonna use Guardian of the Golden Land to get another Elixir. That gets popped. It's quite unfortunate, but we're gonna activate Anti Spell Fringe straight away. They got two. They're gonna enter battle. We're going to get the Elixir going. Get the Elbrooks on the board. And activate Guardian of the Golden Land. Yeah. You have zero attack now. 
You have zero attack now, brother. Okay, what is that back row right here? We're gonna get ourselves another Eldlich. And we're gonna pitch the Eldlixer from the graveyard. Golden Land forever. Oh, yeah. Special summon the Eldlich. Activate the Joaquero. Get that Scythe out of there. Oh, yeah. Use that bad boy and attack him to the face with the Eldlich. That is what I'm talking about. GG's, my dude. That was one of the most annoying games. I hate branded freaking decks. So let's hop right in to the next match. And for our third match, we're going to be going second. With this deck, it's definitely best to go first. But even going second, it feels like it's still very strong. And they had nothing. So it's basically like I'm going first, except with the ability to attack. That is unfortunate for them. We're going to start off with a pot of extravagance. They are going to max C. Okay. That is all fine. Oh, there we go. We're going to start off with the Eldlixir of Black Awakening. Get ourselves an Eldlich straight away. Activate Eldlich's effect to pop that Eldlich. Then do it one more time. While banishing the Eldlixir. To get ourselves a Conquistador on the board. Then we're going to special summon the Eldritch of the Golden Knight. Second 3500. And best turn. We're going to banish the Hawketo to get another Elixir of White and Destiny on the board. Alright, let's see what they got. No. Are you serious? They have nothing? They, they break hard, dude. Alright, well... That was definitely a terrible game for them. So either way, we take those and we'll hop right in to the next match. And for our fourth match, we're actually going first. We don't have the strongest hand, but we're going to try to get this pot of extravagance off. Always scared of the Ash, though. Oh, it was Max C this time. I could deal with that Max C. It's fine. The Ash is a little more detrimental for me. Okay. Wow. What a freaking draw. I didn't grab absolutely anything. Okay. So let's see what our opponent has. Another branded deck. Okay, we're going to go ahead and imperm that. Because we have some outs. We have dimensional barrier. We're chilling. Okay, they got a back row. They're going to attack. We're going to activate Eldlixir. Get our Eldlich on the board. Let's see if you want to continue that attack. No, of course not. Of course not. So let's draw another dimensional barrier. All right, we're going to Pot of Extravagance yet again. And uh, banish our Eldlixir. Gets the Joaquero. Activate Cursed Eldlin. We're going to get our Eldlich. Use its effect to get rid of that Albur. And use this effect in the graveyard to special summon this bad boy. We have a lot of damage. I'm gonna pitch the other Eldritch or the Cosmic Cyclone. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Alright. Oh well. We're gonna attack him. We're gonna do a lot of damage. They got a thousand life points left. Let's see if they can make the comeback of the century right here. Tragedy. That's tragic. That is very tragic because they're going to get the Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon. Okay, alright. The Edge Imp. We're going to activate Dimensional Barrier and uh, choose Fusion Monsters. That is very tragic. If I would have done that to begin with, I would have been in this predicament. Frightful Batchwork. Okay. That's be a comedy. He's going to activate the patchwork, get himself some poly and an edge imp chain. And that is all he could do. Okay. We still got some good plays. There's our anti-spell fragrance yet again. We're going to use Eldritch's effect. 
special summon the Eldritch. We're gonna see what's in that back row. Is this something that could be detrimental? Oh, the expulsion. We are gonna solemn judgment that expulsion. And now you have a free and clear board to take this freaking massive 3,500 damage. Straight to the face. GG's, my dude. Sorry, not sorry. Let's hop right in to the next match. And for our last match, we're gonna be going first. We have Curse of the Eldman. Get ourselves an Eldritch. And then we're gonna special summon an Eldritch with the Black Awakening. Set our traps and pass turn. So we got some negate. We're pretty much chilling. Sword Souls, activate, okay. And we have ourselves a little summon limit here. Screw you, Sword Souls. You're not doing anything else. That's fine. <laughs> they surrender. Oh, man. I love doing that. Just rage. Make them rage quit. It's pretty insane. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. And again, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach 2,000 subscribers before the year ends. So, let's hop right in to the deck list. So, for the deck list, it's pretty simple and I basically call it the pure Eldritch deck because this is all you really need it's two ashes three Eldritches and that's all the monsters everything else is harpies three pot of extravagance one Eldlixir of the Black Awakening one pot of prosperity two cursed Eldland one Eldlixir of the White Destiny two dimensional barriers three imperms three eldlixers uh of scarlet and three solemns two golden land forevers two anti spell fragrance two skill drains three summoner limits two guardian i might switch this to three and then put huaquero to two either or will work but currently i use uh two guardians three hoqueros and one conquistador the extra deck basically most of it is going to be random but there's a couple of double 10 uh exceeds that you can use like the super dreadnought real dragon gustav max you can inflict 2000 damage i've done it before where you just need a little bit extra damage uh exceed into it or the sky palace also and then there's a couple other number 35 Number double X, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, um, Juggernaut, and the Divine Arsenal AA. Just a couple of those. You don't really need those. They're basically just there. So you can uh, banish for the Pot of Extravagance and Prosperity. But I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a shot. This is pretty self explanatory. There's a lot of ultra rares and super rares, but this is the most consistent. Eldritch deck that I've made so far. But I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe. But I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.